are Mysterio. So I guess my question is like... Hey guys, what's going on here is an ETC here, here with a, another unboxing video for the Bana Spider-Man Far From Home Marvel Collector's Court Box. I'm a big Funko Pop collector, as you can tell. I've got a shelf down here and then another one that you can't see because it's so low to the floor. I have looked into getting a new way to display my pops, just haven't decided on anything yet. So this is why we're here for the Spider-Man Far From Home Collector's Court Box. I was very pleased with my Captain Marvel one and my um, Avengers Endgame one. I was very pleased with both of them. So I'm very excited for what comes with this one. So let's go ahead and open it up. I'm not gonna look. Okay, I think I feel, a, feel this first. So it's a strap bag with the Midtown School of Science and Technology. So the school that they go to, it's a little strap bag with Peter's school logo on it. It's pretty cool, it's the first one I've got that has this bag. I've never gotten a bag before, so that's a little nice, something new. Okay, got this card here. Ooh, that says what's on it, I'm not gonna look there. Um, next up is Marvel 80 Years Box. That'll be interesting. I haven't been a big fan of the 80s years pops that have come out so far, other than the Stan Lee one. Just everyone in their like comic book suits is not really of interest to me. I I prefer movies to comic books. I don't really read the comic books. I just prefer to see the movies. So, but it'll be interesting to see what all comes with this one. Um, Hopefully some really cool like Stan Lee tribute stuff. I've been very surprised that so far that these boxes haven't tributed anything to Stan Lee since he's passed. So I'm really hoping that they do a tribute to Stan Lee somehow because they have not with these Marvel boxes yet. And Stan Lee deserves something. Just in my opinion. Alright, what else we got here? Okay. Ah a Spider-Man logo uh, emblem decal for like a car. That's awesome, I'll actually probably put that on my car. Very, very cool, very nice. It has a white outline, so that's very helpful so everyone can see it, I do like that. What else we got? Would you look at that, a little Spider-Man hacky sack. That's pretty cool. Spider-Man hacky sack, that's pretty cool. Um, I won't actually use it as a hacky sack. One thing I guess I noticed, the eyes aren't white, as white as they should be. Like, for, compared to the tag, they're more yellow, which is weird because I haven't even opened it yet. I don't know if that's how they all came, or if mine just got dirty somehow. So, I guess that's interesting. I probably won't ever use this as a hacky sack, I'll probably just keep it. Um, all right, now the pops, the best part of these boxes. Really, the only reason I buy these boxes. Let's start here. Mysterio Collector's Corp Light Up Box. R wow, that's cool, so this one lights up. Oh, look at that, there's a little hole there. Oh, and you can press it and see how it lights up. That's cool. Oh, let me press the button again. So it's the two, so it's his two hands and his face light up. That's cool. Let's go ahead and open him up. Take a look here. All right, here we are. Mysterio. So I guess my question is like, I guess you just press the button. Wonder if you press and hold if it'll stay on longer. I could be wrong, but no. Well, there's that. It is very cool. A Mysterio light up one. Let's kind of compare it to the Mysterio one I have. Let's see here. Here it is. Ba bum. Ba bum. Okay.
Okay, so there's a little bit of difference here in them, just a little bit. One, this one I have is not a bobblehead. That's actually, I just noticed, this isn't a bobblehead. Well, this one is. So, I really don't like the bobbleheads compared to just the pop vinyl figures. I know some people are a big fan of the bobbleheads. I'm not because I always have this problem of I buy them and their heads are on sideways or they're looking up or they're looking down and I'm afraid to even mess with it because it's on a spring. I don't want to touch it and break it. But I seem to be having this problem with the bobblehead ones. But here it is again, very cool. They're pretty much the same. Their pose is a little different. The smoke below them is different because this one's got a battery pack right there. So I kind of wonder what batteries it takes. Okay, so it takes small ones. It says 1.5V times three. So it takes three of those small little disc ones. Um, very cool. I like the cape on this one better. I don't know if you can tell. The cape's a little darker color, but the little side designs here pop more. Like, huh, pop, Funko Pop. But they just stand out more, and it's kind of easier to see the design on them on the light up one versus the bobblehead one. So, I do like that a lot. Um, I don't know. This just. It's a cool pop. But still like the stand and stuff, I kind of look at this and it makes me kind of think of like something you'd get at McDonald's. Not saying that the quality is low or anything, but just like the battery pack and all that, you know. But I do think it's very cool. Um, so yeah, I do think that's very cool that the hands light up. The hands light up and so do the little triangles in his face. Oh, I just noticed that. So his hands are green on this one. Yeah, see if I can get that to focus in because his hands are green, which is why they glow versus this one. It's just the glove. Yeah, so that's the one that doesn't glow. And that is the one that does glow. You can see the difference in the hands. So, okay, one more pop. Good. I like that they're doing two pops. It makes it feel worth the investment. Spider-Man borrowed jersey. Huh. Is that... I literally just got back from seeing Spider-Man Far From Home for like the third time. So... I know exactly what this is from when he's in the Netherlands. There it is. So there's that one. Not not a big fan. I don't like this one. I don't I was very disappointed by this one. Like I'll be honest. Like cuz I was trying to imagine what could what um, from the movie they would take to make an exclusive pop that p other people would want to make them buy it. Like for example, I knew as soon as I finished Endgame, I knew that there was gonna be Captain America with the shield and Mjolnir. I was like, they're gonna make it a pop and I bet you it goes in the collector's court box. But this was not on my list of ideas. I thought maybe Spider-Man when they're in Italy and he's got the clown mask the, diff the mask over his face that's got the ears, it's like a gesture mask. I thought maybe that one, or the really cool scene where Spider-Man's in his upgraded suit but it's all beaten up and he's got the tower bridge and the little bomb in his hand. Or um, Happy with the, Captain with the shield trying to do the Captain America thing. Or um, uh, Peter Parker with the Edith glasses. That's kind of what I was expecting. I was not expecting the one scene where he's from the Netherlands in the Netherlands shirt. So I'm disappointed by that one, to be honest. Not the coolest thing, in my opinion. I've, I think there are many better pops that they could have gone with besides this, but this is the one they went with. 
So, I mean, it's cool, don't get me wrong. I do like Spider-Man stuff, so I do like it, but it's nowhere near one of my favorite Spider-Man pops. It's on the lower end of my Spider-Man pops. Like, I'm just kind of disappointed by it, to be honest. Well, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share this video with your friends, subscribe down below, and I still hope to make it making content. I know I've kind of slacked over the summer, but I am still trying and still thinking about you guys, so I am sorry for not posting as much as I should. Well, check out these other videos that are right over here, and I'll see you here next time here on Heroes and ETC.